एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द ज्वाइनिंग प्रोसेस Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia. If you want to have a detailed concept clarity, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So we start the video. The topic that we are covering in this part is the joining processes. So as the name suggests, the joining process. It is a process to join the metals or the components together so specifically if we we talk about metals we have a process and if is a category of the material other than metals then we also have a process the the entire thing or the entire concept is of the joining part in in joining processes we have majorly these categories which are welding brazing and soldering adhesive bonding and mechanical fastening so the same classification can be described with the help of this flow diagram so if we talk about the joining process we have these categorizations which is the welding process the adhesive bonding and the mechanical fastening if i talk specifically about welding so brazing and soldering also is a part of welding but somewhere it is kept as a separate aspect also so let us keep it as a part of the welding in this we have two categories fusion solid state and separate is the brazing soldering part in the fusion category we have electrical and the chemical uh, way to melt the metal if i talk about the chemical way we have oxy fuel gas or thermit welding in which the melting of the metal takes place and if i talk about the electrical part then arc welding is the case or resistance welding electron beam or the laser beam welding is the case of the fusion welding the fusion welding is basically a category in which you melt the metal in case of the solid state uh, process there is no melting of the metal examples can be the resistance welding which comes under the electrical situation then we have the chemical process in which the diffusion or the explosion welding comes in which we make use of the chemical in order to join the two components together then we have mechanical processes in which the cold welding or the friction welding or ultrasonic welding comes so majorly for solid state there is no melting of metal and here for fusion we melt the metal for brazing and soldering we have the concept of capillary capillary action that would be explained in the later part of the slides then we have mechanical fastening in which we can use fasteners or the process which is crimping stitching seaming that comes under the case of mechanical fastening for adhesive bonding we can use adhesive gums to join the components together then there comes a situation uh, in which one can ask that what is the need of this joining so the thing lies in the case that some components can be produced by some manufacturing process and other components can be produced by the other manufacturing process now the main agenda is to join the items together so that an assembled perspective or an assembled product is obtained so in order to join or assemble the products into one we go for the joining processes then these processes are basically easier and economical to manufacture let's say for an example if we look at the cooking pot and a handle so cooking pot is made separately and the handle is made separately and we can join both of the two with the help of a fastening process or a nut bolt so that these becomes a single assembled unit then the transportation and assembly of this joining process is easier 
is less costly basically so we can transport the equipment to some location so that these joinings of the material can take place then we come to an example of an automobile so in case of the automobile if you look at the diagram there are certain uh, components that are being joined in the automobile let's say if we have an example of the windshield so windshield needs to be joined or placed on the automobile the fasteners are placed on the on this area the bolted engine assembly is there which is used to assemble the engine and the bolts are used to join them then we have the electrical circuitry and in this the soldering process is required to join the two then for having the control on the emissions we can go for the brazing or the braced joints and on the seats you can see that the fabric is adhesively bonded then there is a case on the back side of the same in which you can see that uh, this part or the body of this is spot welded which is the case of uh, resistance welding then there are mechanical fastening which is used to uh, join the body and uh, there are welded pipes for the exhaust systems and you also have the seamed body for the components in which the seaming is seaming process of joining is done and here in case of the muffler component the seam welding is also done so you can see the variety of uh, joining processes which are used in a single automobile so the automobile is a single assembled unit and here majority of the welding processes is being taking place now let us define this welding process with the help of a bookish definition so here welding is a process of joining two similar or dissimilar metals so we can join similar metals here or dissimilar metals here you can see that these can be braced or these can be um, fastened together we can have the similar material and the dissimilar material and we can do it with the help of fusion in which we melt the metal or with or without the application of pressure so we can apply pressure we cannot apply pressure or with or without the use of the filler material so it is the choice in some situations we use a filler material in some situation we don't use a filler material so collectively welding is a process in which you join two similar or dissimilar uh, metals by fusion here we majorly use pressure or we cannot use pressure we can use a filler material we cannot use the filler material and fusion basically takes place by the application of heat then this welding process has certain advantages like the joint that we make is permanent joint that is having a good strength as compared to the base metal and uh, welding is a kind of economical method of joining and we can uh, perform this welding process anywhere we can transport the equipment anywhere and then we can uh, join the two components together then apart from certain advantages we have disadvantages also so the disadvantages of welding is it requires expertise we want skilled professional to do welding the labor cost for this is high and sometimes uh, the process becomes problematic like if we want to disassemble certain components so for that situation opening or disassembling the welding or removing that welding is a complicated task and in majority of the situations it leads to hazardous fumes and vapors and that would be uh, not good for the worker who is working or performing the welding it has poor reliability like it is not used for the stringent purposes like if we want to use it for the nuclear power plants or for uh, the aerospace applications we need to look for certain processes which has uh, a very good accuracy so in in some situations it appears sometimes stringent then we need to look at certain applications of the same process like if i talk about the automobile in majorly resistance welding like spot or seam welding is used there if i talk about rails or railways or joining the rail tracks we have thermit welding 
and uh, for nuclear aerospace applications we go for the tungsten inert gas welding for heavy engineering or ship work we go for the submerged arc welding for pressure vessels there is the possibility that we use a gas metal arc welding for shielded metal arc welding we can uh, have an application which is the general purpose and a general purpose repair is there so with this we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we learnt about the welding process the classification of the welding process major advantages disadvantages and applications of the welding process if you want to have a detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.